Hi, I'm Joseph Kim. In this week's video insights, I will be discussing dividends for large mining companies, including a quick analytical tool to help determine the potential income from these investments. After years of stable or growing dividends, investing in mining companies for income fell out of favour in early 2016, when both BHP and Rio Tinto ditched their progressive dividend policies in favour of a payout ratio that reflected the previous year's net profits. This important change was necessary to preserve both companies' balance sheets, but in the case of BHP, resulted in the company slashing its final dividend per share by almost 75% from 62 to 16 US cents, the first dividend cut in 28 years. Fast forward to October 2018, and the bounce back in commodity prices has helped both companies repair their balance sheets and report much healthier profits, giving them significant scope to return excess operating cash flow back to shareholders. This has led to some investors returning to the sector as a source of income, and it's easy to see why, given the dividend yield of both BHP and Rio Tinto is 5% fully franked, or 7% on a gross basis at the current share price. While this sounds attractive, it is important to assess the sustainability of the dividend to determine the income yield going forward. With the dividends of both BHP and Rio Tinto now based on a percentage of their underlying earnings, we can get an estimate of next year's dividend by calculating the company's net profit in the following year. The following slide is from Rio Tinto's 2017 annual presentation. It outlines the sensitivity of the company's earnings for each commodity it produces for a 10% change in the price, compared to the average of last year. For example, if you assume the average price of iron ore is $70 a tonne, or 10% higher in 2018, compared to last year's average of $64 a tonne, we know the company's underlying earnings will be approximately $1 billion higher. With Rio's dividend policy set at 40 to 60% of underlying earnings, that means an additional 400 to 600 million dollars will likely be returned to shareholders. When divided by 1.7 billion shares, this equates to an additional US 23 to 35 cents per share on top of last year's dividend of US $2.90 a share. Of course, if iron ore prices average $58 a ton or 10% lower this year compared to last year, the estimated dividend will fall by a similar amount. While there are many more components to a mining company's profitability, such as changes to production and costs, using these earnings sensitivities should give you a good guide to the direction and size of the dividend in future. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.